Sing and praise. God, we just say this, this place is yours. God, we make room for you to move and come forth with joyous expectation this morning, Father. We thank you so much for what you're going to do this morning.
and my glasses. Got to have those. It's my birthday today. I got to wear glasses. This happened several years ago, but thank you. Okay, so it's, you know, we're singing Christmas songs because it's the Advent season. And that's just what we do, right, as a church. I always love this time of year when we get to sing the Christmas songs, sing the carols, and all of that. And we're going to move forward as traditionally what we do at Advent Life Church is we, we celebrate Advent, we light the Advent candles, we remember Christ and why He came. And this morning, we're going to light the third Advent candle, which is the joy candle. Before we do that, though, I want to just let you know what's happening here, something new on the stage this morning and this is Gina and Gina is an artist obviously and she is she is interacting with our time of worship and expressing worship with painting and so we're going to be singing about the birth of Christ this morning we're going to be singing about the cross and what he did for us there we're going to be singing about the resurrection of Jesus and Gina is going to be expressing all three of those things in painting this morning as we worship so uh, it's going to be an exciting time engaging in worship this morning. And it's going to be a joyful time of engaging in worship this morning. This is the third Advent candle. It's the candle of joy. It's a joy candle. I mean, Christ came not so that we could just kind of live through life and, oh, you know, Eeyore kind of life. He came to, to, to bring joy, to bring completeness of joy, fullness of joy. That's what he has for us. In him, there is joy. I'm going to ask the Mary and Jim Lorraine to come up and light the, the joy candle, the pink candle here. And I'm going to read from the Gospel of Luke. Imagine that, Christmas, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, beginning verse 7. And she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in claws and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out of the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And I'm going to ask you to stand up right now for this part as we're already engaged back in worship. Because suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appears with the angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to men on whom his favor rests.
Glory to the King, yeah. Yes, God, we give you all the glory this morning. We join along with angels in heaven singing your praise, God. We thank you. Yes, God. 